All right, guys, so we are back from the Zoom break. Um, so we are going to continue um, with this question. So let me just reconstruct a diagram from this. So we say we would have started with the point P, then we go north of P to the point. Um, so we started with P, I will go north of P to the point B, which is five kilometers. And then now from P again, we go east to C, which is two kilometers. And then now we want to move from C and a bearings of 30 degrees. So we construct a north line to C. Then we estimate our angle of 30 degrees. So that's a rough estimate. And so the ship now has to move to a point where it now become east of B. So that angle will be 30. And let's say that it would be at the point D when it is east of B, all right? All right, so based on what we have here now would be our diagram. Now, the other aspect of it now is to calculate the distance the ship had to go. So the distance that we're referring to here is CD. How can we calculate the distance CD based on the diagram that we have? And bear in mind, guys, once we're doing bearings, we have to think about trig, identify any right angle triangle or any triangle that can help us in solving the question. So with that in mind, how can we calculate the distance CD, because that's a distance the ship had to go before it was east of me. Sir, let me, let me ask you first before making an attempt. All right, where the dotted north line, sir, could we assume that also to be the five kilometer, since it have been a parallel line to running with the, the line BP? So you are saying that at the point E, Yes, E to C. Could we also call it um five kilometers as well since it is parallel to B? Sure, sure. Because remember, the line BD is east, on, so that's a horizontal line. The north line is vertical. So basically what right. we is a rectangle. So that line, that height should also be five. So that's okay, sir. All right. So from there, sir, I am thinking that we would need to find first, we need to find ED, which is e, ED, sir, so we can put that as X. No, Ms. Right? Wickham, they yes, want sir. to calculate CD first. Yes. Oh, we find CD first. Right, that's what it talks about. Now, calculate the distance the ship had to go before it was east, do east of B. So it, it started at C and it ends mm -hmm. up. So that's what we want. Oops. You had already mentioned, Miss Wilson, that from C to E, this vertical dotted line is five kilometers. Right? Give me a second, guys. This thing is giving me some help. All right, Miss Wilson, as I was saying, so from C to B, we know that this is five kilometers. Yes, sir. Now, what, what do you know here that will help you to actually do the calculation of CD? What are CD, sir? Yeah, what are we going to? So if you call CD. Mm -hmm. If you want to call it X, you can call it X. That's what we're trying to find. Mm -hmm. All 
Sorry, me not get it. It is not as difficult as it, it seems, Miss Wilson. Sir, may I look on it as some one of the ratio would have to be applied, but yeah, but uh, where would be applied? You see, you are looking, you can look at this now to be your triangle that you're working with, you know, Miss Wilson. Which one? Yes, sir, from the north line coming down. So I, I was looking at C E D as my new triangle. So this is a triangle. Mm -hmm. So that's a 90 degree there. So you're working with this triangle, C E D, as you said. So what are the sides of that triangle that you're really trying to find? Remember, you have an angle, which is 30 mm -hmm. degrees. Yes, sir. And you, you want to find this side CD. In terms of that triangle, we could consider that to be the longest side. So what side would that be? The hypotenuse, sir. Right. So let's say, so we, we are trying to find the hypotenuse, the side that we know, which is the five kilometer. What mm -hmm. would be to the 30 degree? What would you do, water? What is the relation of the side CE with the angle 30 degrees? It's opposite. No, sir, adjacent. So which trig ratio would you use? Let us call it the distance. Come this way, so I'm already been doing Hold this. Hold on, sir. So you're referring to the, um, so we are dealing with, with, the, the, with that, the adjacent side and, and the hypotenuse, sir? Right, you tell me. Which relation you get adjacent and hypotenuse? Oh, the cost sign, sir. Right. Adjacent of the hypotenuse. What you're going to, what you're going to do now? You're right. So it would be cost 30. Yeah, go ahead. It would be cos 30 equal to um, 5 over x. So cos 30. Equal to 5 over x, sir. Equal to. All right. Let us use D instead of X now, I'll label it D. So it would be five over D. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. So we want to bring D across, sir. So we're going to multiply D times cost 30 and then divide five by cost 30, sir. So we're just interchanging this color. So D cost 30. Mm -hmm. Equal to? Rest All right, so D cost 30 equal to 5. Yeah. So what D is equal to now? Sorry, I don't have a scientific calculator. So, so it, it would, would be um, D equal yeah. to um, 5 over cost 30, sir. Cost 30. So, Mr. Lamar, you have the calculator, you can write this out for us. <laughs> Are you there? Sure. Calculate five divide by cost thirty for us. Okay, sir. The cost thirty is zero. All right. Point. So it is five divided by zero point. 866. Point zero. Point zero eight six six. Zero point zero eight six six. Yes, sir. No, sir. Uh, sir. Zero point eight six six, sir. Zero point eight six six. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. So there we go. 
All right, so when you divide five by that, what you get? D is equal to what now? 5.77. 5.77 kilometers, all right? Okay. All right, so everybody agree with that? All right, so let us want to clear this and then now go to the step once again. All right, so what we know, we know that we want to find this distance here, which is CD. So we call that the distance D, and that is the distance that the ship had to go before it was east of B. Now, using our knowledge of that um, trigonometric ratio, we see that the side CE is the same as five kilometers. So we can use five kilometers to be the side adjacent to the 30 degrees angle. And the side D would be the hypotenuse. So we're using cos, cos 30 equal to five over CD. And so when we rearrange our formula, making CD the subject, we have five divided by cos 30, which is 5.77 kilometers. All right, so everybody, we're good with that so far. So that's for the first part of the question. Now, if we go back to the question, so it's a, the other part of the question now would say, so the first part is calculate the distance the ship had to, to, had to be, had to calculate the distance the ship had to go before it was due east of B. Now it, it says now you have to find also the distance it is then from B. So now what you really want now is that distance from B to D. All right, so here we have, after we have calculated B, now we need to calculate the distance BD. All right, so here we know that the distance BD is what we want to find. That's a distance. Now, can somebody now tell me how we can now find the distance BD with the information given on the diagram here now? Ms. Waysom, continue for me, please. Sir, I'm looking at it. All right. All right. Sir, um, sir? Yes, go ahead. So I was looking at um the sine ratio for this one, which would have been the opposite over the hypotenuse. So what are you trying to calculate here you now? Um the 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 side the side E D, sir. Okay. All right, so you want, all right, so we want the entire distance. So we see that the distance from B would be the distance BD. Yes, sir. That would be equal to BE plus oh. E. Mm -hmm. Plus ED, sir. Plus ED. So that's. And we know that BD is already two kilometers. All right, so we know that BE is already two kilometers. Yes, sir. All we need to do now is to calculate ED. Yes, sir. Can, we could use sign. Is it, yes, is sir. It a sign that we can use though? I remember now. No, is it only sign we could use? I remember we now have values for two sides of the triangle already. We could we could also use Pythagoras' theorem. You follow? Yes, sir. So we could use Pythagoras' theorem 
we could use um we could use tan we could also use sine all right so if we're using tan tan is opposite over what adjacent sir. and the adjacent side would be five kilometers already yes. so yes, it was ed over five ED okay. ED. Sir, before you go further, though, question: Would it matter which sign, which which ratio we use, sir? No. Once you're okay. once you're calculating that side, it doesn't matter which ratio you use. Whichever you, ratio you use, our okay. method that you use should be the same or very close in terms of approximation. Okay, sir. All right, because sometimes if you let's say, for instance, you use Pythagoras theorem. You may have some amount at the small places. You may have to round out. So it would be an, um, a very close approximation. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, for this, I'm using tan. So tan is equal to ED over 5. Yes, sir. Just for clarification, because I just don't want to talk. I'm not uh, you know, understanding. So remember that this side which is a side C, E, is also five kilometers. And so with that side, we are, we are trying to find this side, which is E, D. So we're trying to find E, D. All right, so ED over five, because ED is opposite. Um, CE is adjacent and tan equal, opposite over adjacent, so ED over five. But we want ED, so we cross, multiply the tan with the five. And so from that now we would get five times tan 30 equal to 200, so that would equal to 2.885 kilometers. So ED would be 2.885 kilometers. So now we can clearly now calculate the distance BD because that distance now, or before we get to that distance, if we were to use sine to calculate ED, this is what we would have. And so we'd still work out to have the same result, the same value. All right, so with that now, we can use that distance. We can calculate the distance BD. So, so the distance D is equal to BE plus ED. So it's a two kilometers that we already know from here. So we're going to add this two kilometers plus this 2.885 kilometers to get the entire distance B. So when we, when we add them, that would give us our distance. So here now we get, when we add them, we get 4.8. Mm -hmm. eight, 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 five. Kilometers. So that would be the answer for that distance. All right, so that would have completed the question. Any question, guys? All right, so um, we just have a little bit. Um, we have just about seven, seven minutes remaining. So I, I am not going to start any new question with that short time in, in mind. So I'm going to just clear what I have here now. All right, so, um, so guys, um, just a reminder, make use of the videos that have already been posted.
go back to what you need to know, work to the, um, the assignment worksheets, whatever you don't understand, you can bring it to class. If you have a question that you have been trying and you don't understand, bring it to the class. And before I start and before I begin the lesson, I can go to that question with the, with the class so that everybody can benefit from it. Is that clear, guys? All right, so with that said, I'm going to be stopping here. And then now we'll continue next class, which is next week. All right, guys.